welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you my breakfast of choice. I have been craving saltfish fritters, flitters, stampango. You know people call it different name but I see a thing. So I'm going to show you today how I make my saltfish flitters. Because that's what I like all the flitters. I need the nice fritters, stampango, no flitters. Jamaican thing. So I'm going to show you how me do my own. Well, how me I'm going to do my own for the first time because this is the way that I've seen um, my mom's friend made it and I love it. I've always requested her flitters whenever, you know, I'm going to check her. So I'm going to try to do how she do it. I'm going to try to do it her way. So right here I've gone ahead and you know those shred, kind of shred the saltfish, codfish. You know, just by doing like so. I've soaked it in water. Some persons boil it for, you know, a couple of minutes. But I just soaked it in water. And you know, you just use your fingers and just, just shred them as small as you want it to be. Me like when my, my fit as a me get some big junk of saltfish in there still. But because the one here, I don't know how salt it be. I know to uh, make it big. So just like that, and I have some fresh green onions right here, which I cut from my kitchen just now because I have some scallions in um, water, you know, propagating. So, and I have a small scotch bonnet pepper from my garden as well. So, I right here I've went ahead and I have a cup and a half of white flour. And I've added about quarter cups of cornmeal and I'm just going to add some water to it. And because I'm using saltfish and I didn't boil it, I don't want it to be too salty. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little pinch, a little pinch of salt to that. I don't want it to be too salty so I can't eat it because of the children. I've been craving this. So yeah. So, you know, just use your fork and just mix all of that before pouring in the water. And I like to pour in my water before I add the salt fish and the green onions. Oh, you do it at your house. It's completely up to you. Any rule goes. Everything will go one place, don't. But just, this is my way how I like to do it. And me like when my flitters watery because... The, the the more water you put in it, oh my god. See that guy's making a mess. The more water you put in it, it's the thinner the fritters are. And I don't like when they're too fat. I don't like the belly belly part of it there. So I like when it's flat. So it's crunchy. That's the kind of fritters that I love. You know you add your water. Try to get everything. Take off all the lumps. See that, guys? Try to take out all the lumps. I could have used a whisk, but me just like using it with my fork. Me feel like some my fork getting this. I don't know if I'm wrong, I'm not telling me if I'm wrong. See that? And even this too look too kind of too thick for me. You know what? Squire is still, you know. So just add a little more water because as I said, I want it thin. I like when it's thin, I like it crunchy. Mix your cornmeal, your flour, and your salt together. And yeah, that would know. I'm going to add the green onions and I'm just going to just use my scissors and just cut these into some small sizes. Gonna use the use the rest of the green onions later when I'm finished. You guys will see that. But me like it just you know season up my fritters. You know persons put tomato, pepper, green onions, evil onions, but I don't really like the onion as I said before. I'm not really an onion person. 
so i won't be using any onion in mine you can go ahead and add whatever you want in yours just going to cut the pepper also with my scissors trying to cut it as fine as possible because you know what when me eat it you know a bite a huge piece of pepper and this pepper seems to be really hot I'm just going to put just a few cuts. I don't want a lot of pepper in it. I don't want me to eat it. you understand? Because I don't want to throw me something. But I take shame face and eat it because all of me are crave it. So put your salt fish in and just give that a mix. guys my pot is hot right now and let me just show you guys the consistency that we want well if you like it thin as I do see that that's what you want it and I'm just going to go and use my spoon to just pour some of this in the pot My pot is small, so it seems like I can only do three at a time. Because I know you don't want to crown the pot too much. You understand? So my flame is on a little lower than medium, which is perfect because I don't want them to get too black before they are cooked on the inside so guys that are my way for me, my fritters my fritters my stampango comment below and tell me how you like your flitters and also do remember to subscribe share and like my videos and you know go ahead and remember say your feet you know Shoot a girl a comment now and then. Tell me something. Talk to me nice. And remember to watch the entire video, guys. Watch the entire video. You know, let me share recipes and stuff. And remember to follow me on my IG page at Looks and Cooks 876. Alright, guys? These are looking nice. Golden brown. I'm excited. So guys, my fritters are ready. I hope you can see this. <laughs> Lovely, delicious. And I'm going to eat. Finally, finally I can stop dreaming and actually eat my fritters. I'm going to eat this one. You see this one is also not the first one and I'm not really much of a multitasker. So you know when I start doing something in the kitchen and just doing something else, shit got burnt. So guys, as you draw comment share like subscribe and watch the entire video let me know you like a pictures some people love it fat with the inside and stuff i don't like that i don't like the belly fat as what i call it i like when it's flat as i said and i've gone ahead and made some sauce this is just ketchup and mayo and a little bit of pepper dip this in nice And for the guys out there that have been commenting, 
and the more video like and sharing watching the entire video i appreciate it thank you guys you know people like zoo kid for um erolia roll shanet melville vince richard tanisha mcleod sandina tolo jetene Griffith, naturally miss taya and guys go ahead and check out her youtube channel She's the one that did my hair. So if you know you want the full locks, go and link her up. Then she's also a wonderful makeup artist. Go ahead and check out her channel. Naturally, Miss Taya. And people like Miss White Guts again. Alicia Blake. Edwards Robinson. Denise Richards. Lioness Sim Sima. Renee Edwards, um, Aladdin Fadigal, Jada Robinson, my baby, Polly Hines, Forties Forever, Natty Biari, my BFF, Carol Alstead, No Foley. <laughs> so, guys, just continue, Mr. Black Knight. No, no, just continue, Roxanne Bell, continue. Um, Ross and Ben, yes, yeah, so let's continue to watch, share, like, comment, and make we keep it interactive. Make we just build with the local community, you understand? Make we just be the first, make we set the foundation. Mmm, it's so hot. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in my little champagne soda. Normally, I'm gonna fry. I ain't gonna eat it with me. Put it about. Mm -mm. Ain't all about that guy right now. Just if it does. Mm. Mm -mm. Today is so hot. Mm -mm. Just when I like it, as I said before, a crunchy. Mm. You can't hide and eat them now because you're not wake up people and people that hear them. Mm -hmm. We just got some big piece of selfish in our mouth, guys. You can't hear that crunch? Mm. So, guys, until next time, walk good.